Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Diablo 3. And on tonight's episode, I am joined by... Dark Dragon, playing Varala, the Witch Doctor. Devin, playing as the Crusader. And uh, we're going to be going through the, the same mission that we were doing last time. We're going to finish this one off. It's the Sword of the Stranger. Now, you guys say all I really have to do is run up here and click on this little shard, right? Yep. So let's see what happens, guys. Now we have to bring it back to Kane. Okay, so, so that was pretty simple. So what's the best way to get back? T. And we're going to use our little town portal, problem. guys. You can cast it by clicking the little button down here on the bottom that looks like a little portal as well. And it will take us back to town. Now, it, do you normally run or do you just uh, teleport back? Because are the creatures going to respawn on the way out or no? No. Oh, okay. So once, you, you, once you kill creatures in this game, they're dead. There's only certain occasions, like uh, the Wretched Mothers, that puke up more creatures. Some brand new goods. But other you than that, they're, once they're gone, they're gone for good. I'm going to take the opportunity to sell all the junk that I have picked up recently. Yep. And I'm going to feed you more stuff because you need money. Uh, actually, I don't need that money that bad. It's, if we're yes, going to do can. those things, like you said later on, uh, I think it's going to be fine with having a little bit of cash that I have right now. Hey, even if we get you half a million gold, you're still going to need more. So. Yeah, I have 225 million, and I feel like I'm poor. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, what, what do you guys use the money for? Give me some examples of things that you... Uh, maybe not saving up for, but if you had more cash, you probably would put it into. When you re-roll items, it costs a lot of money. And every time, well, it doesn't start out costing a lot, but every time you re-roll an item, it costs more money than the time before. So if you have to re-roll an item 20, 30 times, it can go up to millions per roll. That's crazy. Let's yeah. go ahead and turn into a Decker Kane and see what he has uh, in store for us, guys. The sword was in the possession of Dark Ones, under the will of a woman named Magda. Uncle Decker, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Hmm, I got, uh, that's not quite as good as what I already have. I got a breastplate out of that. What'd you guys get as your reward? I got a one-handed War Sorrow Mace, which isn't anywhere near as good as the, uh, legendary ceremonial knife I made. So I got go. a magic two-handed mace. It's pretty bad. He actually did give me a breastplate better than what I had. Huh. There you go. Yeah, and we're going to go ahead and talk to uh, Delia and see what she has uh, in store since, you know, Decker Kane kind of ended his quest right there. Magda's words betrayed her. The next piece of the sword rests where only ancients may trade. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. Ooh, I'm scared. You know, I, I don't know what to say about Decker's life, you know. He started out in a time period where they had big cities and big civilizations, and in the course of his life, he's seen demons so fight each other, he's seen angels come down, and he's the seen cities being built and completely no destroyed and annihilated. Uh, it seems like the only constant in that guy's life has been pretty much misery all around him. That's that's a pretty horrible life, i got to say, for him. Yep, that's a pretty good... Yeah, that, that nailed it right on the head, Ben. Yeah, like, it's gonna suck. Like, he can't look back and be like, oh, when I was a kid, uh, things were better off. I don't know if any time in his life things were, were better off 
Like, I think they've always been bad. Oh, I know. Uh, did you get that satchel? I did. I did pick up it up. Thank you. And yeah, his life just gets worse you the longer it goes. Uh, man. They're going to... I don't know if they get worse. Thieves are going to kill oh, my his friend. Life if we gets don't worse. do something, <laughs> help me break What do they want with your friend? We're not even She's through just a Act daughter. One Sasha, of the game. You'll she see. has a relic that the yeah. thieves are after. No, I just meant like from uh, from video this game to video it. game. Like the life I'll that you started with in the first one was pretty bad. I don't know if his life has ever really gotten worse. I think it's been rock bottom, and he's just kind of stayed there for like every video game. Oh, I think he finds worse than Lock Bottom in this one. You think so? Oh man, I, I that's gonna be rough because he's already had it pretty hard. Yeah, poor Decker. But it's you know it's good in the fact that he never gives up. You know, it's kind of inspiring to believe that you could have such horrible luck, such horrible fate, and still you know keep going because you just have this uh, you know undying strength that you know so many other people probably don't ever have well he can do that because he's not a real person <laughs> well yeah I'm just saying like when you try to put yourself into the point of view of the characters that you're you're playing with yes, or playing along I do you wish to come with me oh that's a sucky yes. knife yes you look like you know a lot about markets now lead the way so what do we got to do we got to take this north Wait. to the waypoint oh, okay the relic is a fake Gods, I should have known. You seem That's like you could use scoundrel. a helping hand. He's actually I one sure of your henchmen. To stay around here. Well, and I'm not really using uh, him. He's are. just kind of with us, right? Like, I don't get to control him. And no, uh, you get three it's henchmen. Funny. You get a Templar, Do I an Enchantress, like kind to you? and uh, a Scoundrel. My name is Linden. And you can bring them with you when you solo. Of if you're in a group, you cannot empty. bring them with you. Oh, okay, so it's a little mercenary that you get to have with you, basically. Yeah. Do you have to pay him anything? Is it just a free little guy that comes out and helps you? Just a free little guy, and you can even equip guardian. him with gear. Uncle Decker. Are you no. Do you get that gear back? Uh, it, they hold it permanently. Until the next time you call him. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. forever. You can let him hold on to the gear forever, or you can take it away from him. You can upgrade the gear. Uh, all they can have is a weapon slash shield, an amulet, and two rings. That's it. Wow, that's not much at all, but the amulet and the two rings, I bet you can get some pretty uber stuff for that. And the weapons I've seen have been pretty nice as well, so you can still give them some stats, and that's going to make a, a bit of difference, I would imagine. Yeah, it, they definitely help when you're soloing. My favorite is the Enchantress because she does the crowd control. Now, what kind of what kind of crowd control does she do? Uh, she does like area effect chicken, turns everybody into chickens. Really, that's kind of funny. It's uh, almost yeah. like uh, Ratchet and Clank, where they have the different weapons that you could use, and it was one of like Sheepinator, turn people into like sheep. Kind mm -hmm. of funny that they've incorporated that in there. Do you think that was like an homage to like the Ratchet and Clank series, or just something kind of weird and zany? Like it was. But uh, she has another one where she um, just turns everybody stupid for a little while. They just stand there and do nothing. Uh, and then she turns them into chickens. There's another one where she can charm them, turn them, turn them. A single creature into your pet, but it can be even an elite that she can do that too. So, do you notice yourself having problems with with the crowds when you do it solo? Like they're just too difficult. Depends on the class. When we leave this tunnel, there's an elite pet to the top left that we missed. I saw him right before we. Well, I, I didn't miss nothing. I'm just going in here first. Wait, you, uh, you see a main bad guy? Is that it? Yeah, there's a new pack right outside of this dungeon. I'll definitely take that guy. Now, he has a, a greater chance of dropping something really nice. Yeah, elites are nice. There we go. Core Spider Ruin unlocks Spider Queen. Not the okay. Spider Queen! Unlocking some stuff, I guess. Uh, I guess, uh, what, what, what is that from? Ruined what? Unlocked? Is that just from leveling up, or is that from doing a certain part? Retrieve um, the Beacon of Light. Hold on, before anybody exits, 
if you hit S, you'll see on your skills where it says new. It shows you that either you have a new skill or a new rune for skills. That oh, have been you're right, yeah. This is the Spider Queen. And it walks around and it does 2,625% weapon damage of poison. Anything around her takes damage. And what'd you get for yours? Same thing. Just no, no, no. Uh, Devil Dog, what'd you get for yours? Oh. I don't think he's paying attention to you. Yeah, that's alright. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna kill this guy up here, the stunned archer. What, what's the hardest enemy in the game for regular mobs? Like, what's the one that sends to, like, slow or poison? Kind of like what you guys were saying the trees were to start with. Uh, the trees. But now that they've been fixed, uh, that's probably not the case anymore, right? Yeah. Elites are really hard because as you get higher, they get more prefixes and suffixes that goes on there. Oh, here's an event. What kind of event? You'll see in just a moment. I didn't mean to um, ignore you per se. Oh no, uh, it's alright. When you do these videos, man, you can get you can get distracted pretty easy. So I had to make the noise stop from outside, so it was getting pretty annoying. Hold the top of the hill. Don't let them take it. King that's, of the hill. That's what we're doing. We're just holding it. Yeah. Now, are these, uh, you know, what kind of events are these? Things that are going to be there all the time? Things that only show up every once in a while? Once in a while. And it's just completely random when they're going to pop up. Yep. Just like uh, the bosses that you come up against are random. They're still, you get achievements for, like, killing certain bosses. And there's some achievements I still haven't even gotten done because I haven't bumped into those mobs. Oh, really? That's kind of unfortunate that you can't go and maybe have them summon someplace at a certain point uh, after you've beat the game, you know, on like super duper, you know, hard, whatever the the Torment 10 or whatever is, uh, you know, at that point, you should be able to summon like any mob you want, at least for training purposes. Maybe not get loot off of it, but at least you can get that that uh, update. Otherwise, man, you could be going back, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of time and never quite getting that. And that would kind of suck, to be honest. It does suck. <laughs> but when you finally get it, you're like, yes! And do you get anything out of that from doing the achievements? Uh, is there anything you can spend those those points on? Does it give you, like, with with uh, Borderlands 2 anyways, they had it where the achievements were basically what they call the badass tokens. And those tokens could be used to roll on, you know, just like a random buff. Well, with them... I've traveled this, my whole life. you can customize your change? banner. Yes. And do you it's see the, like the icon around my picture? Right. You can customize that as well. Okay, so that's what you get, the customization option for that, as yeah. you uh, get more and more of those those little achievements. I guess that's not yep. too bad. It's not something you absolutely actually have to have to play the game. So there's people who, if you're not going to go hardcore into it and go out there and get all of that stuff, you're not going to really be missing out on too much, but at the same time, it's, uh, you know, something that's pretty cool to have that you can play around with and definitely enjoy if you take the time for it. So I like when they find that nice little medium that everybody can kind of be happy and nobody's really penalized for not having, you know, hours and hours and hours every day to play because some people don't. When I was a kid, I used to have, you know, a lot of time on my hands to play video games, and as you get older, uh, you know, you have other responsibilities you don't get to play as much and it really sucks to see yeah. some of these these games that I really love to play and I know if I had the time I would sit there for you know 10-15 hours and play like a Final Fantasy game all day long and, and get all the extra secrets and all that stuff but I, I can't anymore and like with uh, I don't know if you ever played Assassin's Creed but in that one you're unlocking memories and if you go back and you complete every mission to the, the best of you know that you can do in that game and unlock it to where it you know syncs with basically what they say the memory was the first time which is just you know perfect uh, you get an extra little like 10 15 minute clip another little level or something like that 
Uh, you get some weapons that unlock. It's like a pretty big deal. But to do that, it's going to take you like 120, 130 hours. And you have to be really good at the game to boot. So, I, you know, th those are cool. I like it when I can complete them. But when I can't, it kind of sucks that there's not an extra little... Uh, I understand. I click the little button and just show me it anyways, even though it's kind of a cheat and I didn't really earn it. At least that way you can see it. But I guess eh, that's what YouTube is for now. You can just do a little search on it and you can watch somebody play it and uh, they have earned it. So I guess maybe not so bad. But in the old days, when you had to do it yourself, you would just miss out on that piece of the game and never see that special level. And it's kind yeah. of unfortunate, you know? You guys do know you could have just ported to me instead of running all the way over here, right? We were killing people. <laughs> every moment it remains. It's a cool looking dungeon, though. Oh. I don't know. Right what? here, after we kill this boss that's up here to the left, on these three pedestals, randomly, you get the three stooges. What do you mean, uh, like the little faces? Larry, Curly, and Mo. Really? That's cool. I, I guess they're fans. Which is, uh, I don't know, is that weird? Because they're kind of old now. Yeah, I find it funny. I love it. Are they here this time or no? No. They would be named Larry, Curly, and Mo. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's nice that video games are allowing themselves the freedom and the almost the overall ease at which they do it, the, the relaxed nature of it, of putting something about themselves into their games for no other reason just because it's fun. You know, like, I can't think of anybody else that really gets to do that all that often. Yeah, movies do occasionally, but it still has to fit within the realm of the game or the movie that you're, you're you know, shooting. Whereas with games, you look at, like, Borderlands, uh, it actually had an entire area off to one side dedicated to Minecraft just because somebody in the, the game liked Minecraft. You know, so when they when they can do that, it's kind of funny. And I love it when they, they do homages to other video games out there. I love it when they do an homage to anything. Well, I don't know about that. they got to be passionate about it. Well, it, it's... When they do an homage for something, it's like, oh yeah, I know that. You know, it's just kind of cool to me. I like it. The, oh yeah, you know, I I know what they're hinting at here. Ooh, vampire bats! I love vampire bats. Thirty-three. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with that. Nice. Uh, what do we got? Spirit walk into the spirit room. No, I don't want that. Chilled oh. to the bone. Enemies who hit are hit by your zombie dogs are chilled. I like that. Watch this. What is that? That's our gargantuan. Where'd you get that one from? I didn't see that in there. It just unlocked because of Soul 19. Harvest, which was, uh... What's Should that under? Should have automatically went to your key number four. Oh, Sorry. you're right, Stop. yeah. <clears throat> Look at that. Summons yeah. a gargantuan zombie to fight for you. Attacks for 100% of your weapon damage as physical. Not bad. Yep. Look at the runes, though. I can't open up my rune to tell you exactly which one, but there's one where whenever it comes against a large group of creatures or an elite pack, it goes into, like, super mode. And it does some really good damage. There was always something new and exciting to hear or see. Okay, so is that Dice of the Hawk? Follower plus 46 dexterity. Uh, it says for follower. Does that mean I can't wear this? Uh, link it. I'll meet you back it. in New We must tell Uncle Deckard what we found. I cannot. Was it shift click, right? Yes. Yeah, that is not working. Hit enter first and then shift click and then oh, enter. Oh, you're right, okay. There you go. I, I was going to see how long it took him to figure that out. Probably a long time. Um, it would have been a while. Yes, yeah. that that is a scoundrel token. Uh, I, f I forgot when I mentioned that you can give him a weapon slash shield or a quiver uh, amulet 
two rings, and then they each have a specific, mm. like, token that they can use. I like That's that. It's uh, made just for their their I've class, got right? Some new things yeah. for you to take a look at. All right, we're gonna sell all this junk real quick, guys. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. That's actually better, but I don't like how it loses all those extra stats. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Ah, oh, it's first item I have for my shoulders. Finally. No, <laughs> that's junk. That's junk. Yeah, make sure to look at everything to see if it's an upgrade or not. I mean, there's stuff that is, but it loses the extra I get experience for each kill. And so I'm going to hold on to that just because I like being able to to level up a little bit faster. That way we can get up to that, that max level that you guys keep talking about that we can actually do some of the harder dungeons. So. Once you get to 70, you'll say bye-bye to my oh. witch doctor. And hello we to my barbarian. I tell you, we oh, so he's your favorite class, then, huh? Be broken so that well, can be on seasonal, all I have right now is my barbarian and the witch doctor that I made to level with you. Um, a witch doctor that's doing a pet build and a whirlwind barbarian are a nice combo. Because you have the witch doctor that can concentrate on the single target while its pets control everything and then the barbarian can just keep whirling around pulling more and more creatures for the witch doctor works really nice nice some of the stuff you gave me is pretty good i'll oh, go ahead Manson. a wizard what about a wizard you'll get to see my wizard when you're 70. oh yeah yeah Definitely looking forward to grouping with some of your mains just to see how uber they are because you guys have pretty much uh, equipped them out really well, right? So far, yeah. This bald guy down here, Neck the Brawler, a um, couple days ago, it might have actually been yesterday, me, Dark Dragon, and Jake went in there and it's like a little arena. You face each other. Mm -hmm. And. I didn't believe them when they said that I was pretty OP. And no, it, it's not that you're OP. It's that the storm armor for witch doctors is OP. I'm the OP. Order would never forgive <laughs> me for falling in with a thief. The storm armor that they don't forgive wizards a can use. And anyway, as no soon as anything that's hostile comes on their screen, they get hit with a bolt of lightning. And then with the build that I gave him, he can stun and freeze anything that he hits. So as soon as you come on the screen, you're getting hit by lightning and you're getting stunned or frozen. And the lightning isn't just a one hit, it continues. Yeah, like every second, blam, blam, blam. <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. It sucks. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's something you can do. I'm sure there's a build out there that somebody can design that may uh, repel or uh, at least... Well, for witch doctors, I could go into my spirit form, run up next to him, and kill him. But I can only use my spirit form. Uh, there's a 12-second refresh on it. And then for barbarians, they can go in what we call Super Saiyan mode, which is Wrath of the Berserker. And you look like a Super Saiyan level 4, by the way. Um... And you can use that, and then you can't get stunned or frozen, and you can run up and kill them. But all the defenses against it are on a long refresh. But that storm armor is just, you pop it on, and it stays on for 10 minutes. Hey guys, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is actually end the episode here. On the next episode, we will continue where we're at uh, and go ahead and do the next quest. That way we can start this quest from the beginning, maybe do an entire episode of this quest, uh, like I said, from start to finish. Maybe if it works. I don't know how much the time is really going to uh, you know, cooperate with us on that regards, but we're going to give it a shot. Again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. We will definitely catch you on the next episode. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and we will catch you later.